Hi guys, this is Simmer Down Girl, and welcome to the introduction to my get together. Yes, I'm finally playing a get together LP. Um, this is going to be called Get Together, the Around the Way Girls. Um, and this is the first girl. Her name is Yvonne Singleton, and she is. A, she wants to be a soulmate. She wants a soulmate, and um, she is alluring because of that. She wants, you know, or she's alluring because she wants a soulmate. She wants. She's a. Um, what is the word? What's the word? What's the word? She is a romantic, like a true romantic. She is kind of insane with it. Um, she's very jealous when it comes to her partner she um always thinks he's up to no good but he's actually not that bad um but she always thinks that he's just being reckless and yeah so that's where she's at um she's very romantic she loves any romantic gesture that her man gives her she just eats it all up and she just loves it um she's also very hot-headed so that kind of goes along with the jealousy um her and her boyfriend get into a lot of heated arguments um never really physical but um they are batshit crazy but they're batshit crazy in love you know like the typical um young love relationship they have um back and forth she thinks he cheats he thinks she cheats neither one of them is cheating on each other but you know there's there's little we're gonna get into all that in a minute we're gonna when, when we're playing you're gonna see um how that's all gonna play out so that is Yvonne and I absolutely love her I think she's stunning like she's so gorgeous she's so look at those eyes she's so pretty and I just love her style like she's totally bringing back the 90s here with this outfit and I just like love it um so for every day she has um two outfits she has this one and then her second one which is like this one is more of I'm going to hang out with the girls somewhere whether it be at a club or you know probably a club like this is her club with the yeah, going clubbing with the friends outfit and her formal is this um, lime green dress and heels and then she's just got her little clutch um, yeah so that is that and then her active wear is just, you know, plain active wear. She doesn't really work out that much. She is naturally kind of toned or whatever you call it. It's, it's kind of natural, so she doesn't do too much. Um, her sleepwear is just her boyfriend's t-shirt. Like, she's that girl. Um, she's just in her boyfriend's t-shirt. Um next is her party wear and for this she just kind of got on this denim jacket over a suede crop top some jeans and some suede boots and then she has this for her second and this is um a plum colored um sweetheart neckline bodycon kind of dress um and yeah, I really like that. And that's that. And then for swimwear, she just has this cheetah print um, dress with the cheeks out that she's just like, bam, this is me. Okay. So yeah, um, yeah, I just love her. I think she's gorgeous. And next up is one of her best friends. These three girls are ride or die girls. They love each other. They just they're just always, they've grown up together, and they, you know, she's the baby of the bunch, obviously, 
I mean, you can kind of tell she's she's a little bit a little bit younger than them, but you know, she was always that girl that wanted to tag along and you know see what the big girls do. That's her. She's oh, we I love Medallia. Medallia is gorgeous. So our, she wants to be a bodybuilder, and in that, I don't really mean a bodybuilder. She just wants that fit life. She wants to be athletic and you know, keep her body shape. She's really vain. I know it's, it's, she's a tomboy and like really tomboyish, like, but she is really vain at the same time. Like she's beautiful and she knows that she's beautiful and yeah, so that's her. So she has a high metabolism, obviously most bodybuilders or people who are worried about their weight, um, have high metabolisms to keep their weight, you know, at a good level. Um, she's active. That goes with the whole fitness thing. She's very active and into sports. She loves, loves, loves to play football with her brothers. And I know, I feel like I should have made the rest of their family and so that they would have a kind of a branch to the tree of life in their town but I feel like they kind of moved away so they moved away and that's why she can no longer play football with her brothers and things okay so that's the story and I'm sticking to it um she's very self-assured like I said she's really confident she knows she's the shit she knows she's beautiful I mean she has on a t-shirt that says I have no tits like, who can be that confident to point out a flaw of theirs that is, you know, looked upon as boyish or whatever. But she knows that her face and the rest of her body will make up for that flaw because she's absolutely gorgeous. So she, you know, she can get away with that shirt. Um, and then she's a bro. Like I said, she... Um, really just hangs with the boys she's a bro she loves watching sports and all that stuff she just gets into that so this is her first outfit and I thought it was cute I'm like she's gonna wear some little short shorts but then she would cover it because she's kind of modest a little bit I mean she knows she got it but she doesn't want it kind of a deal um and yeah it's kind of sporty yeah, really, really cool and urban. And then for her going out, she um, wanted to step it up a notch. She's got on a little, um, not strapless, uh, spaghetti string, uh, boobylicious dress here for her little tatas. And um, these amazing shoes. I actually did a showcase kind of thing on um madeline um mj95 which this dress and these shoes come from um and yeah so you guys should check that out really really cute and cool so that's that um this is her formal wear i i don't know i this was the most masculine ish dress that i could come up with because like I said, she's not a super girly girl. I mean, she'll get down with the girls with when she's with the girls, but she just she's she's not that girl. She's she'll dress up for dre the the sake of dressing up, but that's not her choice. So she kind of always looks a little awkward and um doesn't really fit the mold on what everyone else is wearing. She'll you know, wear a floor length dress when everyone else is wearing minis, you know, like that's her. She just, she doesn't quite get it. Um, her athletic, she's got on her Adidas and her little Adidas shoes, you know, she's wearing that. And then for sleepwear, she just got on this like little pink, um, bra top and what are these boy shorts? I don't know. High-waisted boy shorts. 
and you know she rocks the slippers and then for her party wear we want I wanted to kind of you know let her go in her own skin which is you know what the type of outfit I think she would wear I think she would wear like a um camel kind of jackety thing over a crop top with her belly out because she's really proud of her like abs and like her belly the flatness of her belly she's just really proud of it and then she's got on these jeans and then some heel boots which I'm like heel boots I don't know I feel like she would have wore sneakers but you know she's trying to look similar to her companions you know to her friends to her compadres she wants to look like them so that um next she's wearing the blue version of the purple um or the plum colored dress that Yvonne was wearing she has on the blue version of it and the same heels and um this blue necklace or this gold necklace with blue stones she has that on and her makeup is pretty flawless and that's her second party wear outfit and that is because well we'll get into that um so next is her swimwear and she just has on this turquoise um flowy top it's like flowy um bouncy um top top part and then you know basic bottom and that is her swimwear so next here we have Jalissa Harmon and Jalissa is like she is your token I don't I don't want it token she is your I don't want to say basic because basic makes her seem like she's just um not special and she is she's just your run of the mill Puerto Rican girl like she has like all the characteristics of being you know a little spicy Puerto Rican um she wants to be a party animal and that leads her to be gregarious which means she t can talk and she can talk you out your socks you know, um, she's very outgoing, you know, she, um, is a bro, she can hang with the boys, which most Puerto Rican girls I know can hang with the boys, like, they just hang, they just can do it, like, they can drink with them, wrestle with them, you know, they can just get down with the boys, like, they're, they were raised to be, um, I don't want to say manly because that's not, they're far from manly because they're very vain and um, all the ones that I know were very vain and worried about their, um, I have a lot of Puerto Rican friends, let's just put it like that um, and know a lot, I have a lot of Puerto Rican cousins, you know, they're, it's just vain and, and beautiful and celebrated and I just love it love it love it love it um and then she's very ambitious she wants more for herself than what she has now she's just very ambitious and that is Jalissa and so for her first outfit she just has on these like ripped up jeans um purposefully done not because she's poor or broke or whatever. She just likes this style. She has on a Victoria's Secret crop top. Um, she has on her Amour necklace. Amour is love in Spanish. And she loves this necklace. It's like her, it's her piece. I don't think you ever catch her without it. Um, and then she's got on these big gaudy earrings that, you know you figured she'd wear and then she's she's a beautiful girl look at her beautiful green eyes and yeah she's just gorgeous and she's rocking those stiletto nails and yeah she's just she's that girl so 
for outfit number two, she has on this um, white bodycon kind of dress, just really snug, and these white boots, which she just loves also. Yeah, we just love them. And then, of course, she has on her chain and her earrings. And, yeah, so that's her going out with the girls. Fit. Um, this is her formal wear. She's another one that just doesn't really get, like, what to wear or whatever. She, she um, is a little bit confused on, like, formal, what it should look like, what... Um, you know, these girls are, where, where I'm coming from, these girls are from the ghetto. Like, they are from the ghetto. They're not ghetto. They're not ratchet. It's not a negative thing. It's, you know, a, I, from where I'm coming from, you know, playing this LP, it's a very positive thing that they, like, have this um, camaraderie that they're all, like, that girl, you know, like, round the way girls, like, I got the idea from, um, LL Cool J's round the way girls song, you know, um, standing at the bus stop, sucking on a lollipop, once you get, it's hard to make, you know, like, that song, um, about, like, the bamboo earrings, at least two pair, it just, I feel like it glorified their beauty, their, because I'm one of those girls, like, I'm from the hood, and, and, you know, like, even though I didn't have a million dollars in my bank account or whatever, I took pride. I still, well, I take pride. I, well, I don't consider myself in the hood anymore. So, I guess, like, or being super poor or whatever, like I used to be when I was younger and whatever. I feel like I've established something um, now. So, with that said, like, I took pride in like my clothing and how I dressed and you know wearing the earrings and um you know just trying to wear my status through my clothing like I, I know that sounds really strange to anybody th that doesn't get it but like that's what we did we we wore our like, I'll just throw out a couple name brands that, like, when I was a teen. We wore our cross colors. We wore our jabos. We wore our, you know, our street gear and that, and, you know, our Jordans. And that made us feel like we weren't as poor as we were, you know, like... If you had a pair of Jordans on your feet, you felt fresh. Like, you felt like you were fresh. Like, you felt like you were doing something. Even, you might have been doing nothing. But you felt like you were because you had that on. So, when I say, like, she doesn't really get it. Like, she, she doesn't understand what, like, to me this as a formal dress is kind of inappropriate because it's just too colorful it's just too you know you you wouldn't wear this to a an event because you would just well unless you really wanted to stand out you know she's she Puerto Rican she probably did you know I don't know I don't know but I love it so that that's where I'm coming from when I am creating their clothes and stuff like I'm making them look great but also putting them in stuff that I think that they would wear or pick that for themselves and so she's rocking this Adidas um fit for her athletic and I just see that she would pick like a name brand or like Adidas or something to sport and then she's just rocking a t-shirt a really baggy um, sleep shirt that she got from H&M or something. I don't know. Um, and for party, she's got on this turtleneck sweater dress. And she's got this leather over it with these, um, over-the-knee leather boots. And I just think she looks 
great because her booty is fabulous and yeah she looks great so for her second outfit she has on the green version like the emerald green version of that sweetheart dress um and yeah so they each have one uh let's see if we can show it that one and then she has the purple so they each have one and they are going to go somewhere rocking it yeah so i'm excited for that um for swimwear jalissa has just this one piece um swimsuit and um obviously her her necklace that she wears forever i yeah she, the only time she doesn't wear it is at bed or working out and that's because she doesn't want it broke so yeah um back to this and then she just got on these shades that i absolutely love right now and yeah that is jalissa so these are my three ladies and they are the around the way girls um yeah so let's go and move them in somewhere um of course i want to move them to windenburg i know i probably should have picked a city that looked more urban had more of an urban um flair to it but i don't know what city in sim like world would have sufficed so we have three choices here well we have four choices we could build a home which eh. we could live in proprietor square it's a one bedroom that really wasn't gonna work for three ladies um habishan house that's also a one bedroom so that's not gonna work um there is this one where we could build and that is mid nowhere um the rustic residence um yeah it's a two bedroom so we're just gonna try that one and see we can make it better if it sucks we can make it better all right so here are the ladies and let's get over here and okay this is going to be Yvonne's room because it's got the double bed so we'll just have her come and claim that um actually well she can claim the bed we're, we're going to move the bed okay so i'm just quickly moving her bed and switching things around a little bit and going to decorate a little bit for a second here um it cuts off and then i cut back to because it took a while to decorate but yeah this is how it looks after decorating okay so i think that that makes it look enough lived in for me to play like i don't know i just did some random stuff i'll probably do like a remodelish type deal on it later but let's do what i wanted to do right away and that is start a club like i don't want to just join a club i want to create a club so with yvonne as the head person and jalissa's also in the club and we will add other people as we go but the requirements are going to be um well a trait you have to be hmm Let's see here well we don't want hot-headed people an insider i feel like you, you should have to be more than one trait because Otherwise, it won't, it's really not going to work. So you absolutely have to be um, outgoing. Like, you, you just have to be outgoing. They're not outgoing. 
I okay that's not we're going to work because she's not a bro okay so you have to be hmm your career has to be what is this what career is that Um, yeah, your career. They don't even have careers. Okay, for age, you have to be a young adult. Okay, that works. That's number one qualification. Number two is um, financial status. You have to be... You have to be poor. Otherwise, we're not going to... Oh, snap. Okay, you have to be middle class. Because, um, that way, um, we don't get the rich uppity people trying to be in our club because it's not really what, you know, the club was about. Um, and we're going to do invite only. And our club activities are going to be... Let's see. Um, food and drink. We are going to um, drink bar drinks. That's like one of our main goals. Um, band activities um, is to cook we what what the heck okay no let's do drink bar drinks and then it is that so then we click that and then another one is um fun and games we are going to play cards because who doesn't play spades like yeah we're playing spades um what else? Okay, so what else? Let's minimize that and that. Um, hobbies, we can. Yeah, we don't want to do any of those. Try social. Um, So we will get points for fighting because um, and it'll be like other clubs. Um, what club? We will fight the upper crusts because they think they're the stuff and the good timers. No, they're, we're cool with them. I think the Paragons are the other ones that think that they're ish don't stink. Um, so yeah, we're fighting with the Paragons. Um, and that's what we have to do. Um, what else? We got two remaining club activities we can do. Um, mischief and Mayhem. No, we don't do any of those things. Okay, at home, we are going to bathe and shower. Because we're going to do that anyway. So we, we, you know, we might as well get points for doing that. Um, art and music. Okay, so definitely, number one, this probably should have been number one was to dance that is our thing we can dance we can throw down so band activities are um for social we cannot um hmm 
we're not mischievous. We don't, yeah, we're not mischievous. We don't throw, do pranks and all. No, no, you will get your butt beat if you try to do a prank with us. We're just not into that. Um, food and drink, if you, um, none of these things. I, cause I, I can't see hating on any of those things. Um, I can't hate on any of these. So I'm I'm confused. Um, hobbies. Let's see. Okay, if you're a rocket scientist, you you need not apply. <laughs> That's banned. You cannot be a rocket scientist and be in our club. Um, it kind of goes without saying. Those things are like. Okay, mischief and mayhem. Um, we don't possess objects. We don't. That that's an easy one. We don't use alien powers. Um, we don't hack things because we we honestly shouldn't know how to hack. So yeah, that's yeah. So that is our club. And I hope to get some points. Um, it is going to be called, um, what the heck? Okay, we need an icon. I'm going to say this is our icon. Because it's all about that club thing. Okay, so here it is, Round the Way Girls. So, oh, and gender, did it say, like, gender? Because this is a girls group, like, boys are cool, but we, like, want it to be girls, like, it girls. Um, okay, I'm not giving a description because I'm not good at writing those, but um, let's see if we, that is a requirement that you can do. Yeah, no, you can't. Okay. Okay, so no. All right, guys. Oh, did it save it? Oh, I will be so mad. As I jumped that really quickly. Oh, are you kidding me? I didn't click save. Okay, I'm going to do this off screen, you guys. Um, So I'm going to end this video here. That is part one of or not part one, this is the, the introduction for my get-together, Around the Way Girls LP, and I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope to make this LP exciting for you guys, and fun. I love you guys, and I will see you in the next part of whatever I make. Bye!